the scale. This is just about my relationship with the scale and why it needs to end. I'm done with it. I'm stepping off. <laughs> I'm finished. This little thing has been terrible for my mental health, okay? This little scale right here that I've been stepping on every day, it's just not it anymore. I don't like it. It doesn't make me feel good. Even Well, it only makes me feel good if the number goes down. I would get on it and then if I lost a pound, if I lost half a pound, I'd be so excited. But then the next morning, if I got back on it and I went up or stayed the same, like it would affect me for some time afterward. And I would think I'm not making progress anymore and it would just put me in a bad mood. And so it really is not good for my mental health. And I get so obsessed with, okay, am I gonna drop today? And it's not even good to be dropping weight every single day. If I base it on losing inches, if I base it on how my clothes are fitting, that is definitely healthier. And you can, listen, you can see the progress in the mirror, okay? It's harder when you're looking at yourself every day because we look at ourselves every day, but you can tell how your clothes are fitting. You can tell how you look. You can tell if you're looking slimmer, trimmer, whatever your, whatever your goals are. If you're trying to gain muscle, you can see the muscle coming. You can see the muscle in the mirror. So I think judging it based on how your clothes are fitting, using a tape measure to measure inches. I'm trying to be fitter, be stronger. And the number on the scale does not reflect that. How I fit in my clothes, how I look to myself in the mirror, all of that is not reflected in the scale. The scale will go up if you drink a lot of water. The scale will go up if you are stressed out, if you are bloated, if you're on your period, girls. Like the scale fluctuates so much and so it's not good to base your self-worth, any of that, on a number on the scale. So I think it's better to use a tape measure, measure inches, and measure how your clothes are fitting. Are, are your pants looser? Are your shorts looser? That's a much healthier way to measure yourself, your measure your progress in terms of weight loss. I think in inches is everything, especially if you're if you start lifting weights or something, then you know the fat will be melting off and then it's replaced with muscle. And so you lose those inches. You could go on a fast and lose a whole bunch of water weight go on a crazy detox, lose a whole bunch of water weight. Oh my God, I lost 10 pounds. You start eating regular food, you're gonna gain that 10 pounds right back. So no, no, that's not long-term. For me, the scale is not my friend and I've realized that. I stopped weighing myself for a long time. I based my weight loss, weight gain, everything with how my clothes were fitting. And that worked for me for years, for years, y'all. I did not weigh myself for years. And then for some reason, I decided to go to Target and get a scale and my obsession, the unhealthiness of it just came right back. So I'm like, you know what? Me and the scale are done. Me and the scale are done. So if anyone else can relate to this, please comment below. Let me know how you feel about it. Is there another form of measurement that you like to use if you're on a weight loss journey, whatever. But for me personally, I'm going to say goodbye scale. See you later. I'm done. That's it, y'all. That's all I got for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.